1 billion blocks. That would take you over 64,000 hours to walk in Minecraft. And that's why nobody has ever attempted to travel it in survival. Until now. Because this is how I traveled 1 billion blocks in survival Minecraft. I had a genius plan, but there was a lot that could go wrong. So I needed to assemble a crack team of Minecrafters. Oh my Ooh. god, it's gamers. Oh my god, it's Gil. Oh, hello. hello. First step in our plan was to kill the Ender Dragon and get Elytras. We need to get a move on and kill this dragon. We need iron. All right, operation, everyone get iron. So whilst we're making some more progress, let me explain the plan. We needed gamers on one side of the world and Gilf on the complete opposite side. Then they would activate machines that teleport me back and forth until I've completed the monumental task of traveling 1 billion blocks, all in survival Minecraft. It sounds simple, but to get to that point, we'd need to collect thousands of hard materials, find hundreds of elytras, and manually travel over 100 million blocks. But but somehow at this point, we were still quite optimistic. Let's go, we've got loads of iron. That dragon's not gonna know what hit him. He's gonna get triple oh. attacked. All right, that's full iron armor. Anyways, to get to the Ender Dragon, we had to venture into the nether. And first on the menu was blaze rods. Guys, we're gonna need this uh, soul sand for the stasis chambers. Yes, I've got three rods. Nice, I got yes. one. Yes, I've got two. So we've got what, six? Cool. Yeah, let's get a few more, just in case. <laughs> oh no, oh no! What? Pig, pig. Fat pig. That's a baby. No, there was a bigger one. <laughs> Is that what you scared of? <laughs> Anyways, after that near-death experience, it was time to get ender pills. Enderman time. Uh, yeah. Get booted. Oh, we got another one. Nice. How many you got? I got three. I got three as well. I've got ten. Oh, but did you just drop them on the lava by accident? I actually uh, donated them yeah. to, to the families of the Enderman that I've killed. Here's your, here's your dad's balls. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we had everything, it was time to fight the dragon. But finding the stronghold was a bit harder than we thought. Uh-oh. I think about here. Very well? Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's down there. All right, let's just go back to the thing and dig all the way down and see. We should have noted down the cords of the hole. I have no idea where I am. All right, everyone spread out and look for the stronghold. However, eventually, Gilf managed to find it, and then the battle was on. Oh, oh got it, I've got it, I've got it. Nice. Oh, yeah. let's go. Here we go. Here we go. On our mission to travel a billion blocks, the Ender Dragon is in our way. There's one. I'll get this one that's in a cage. Oh, I'm hitting so many. What are you on about? Got it. Nice. <laughs> no way you're going to try and kill the dragon. I want to do that. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Don't demolish my tower. Oh, oh it did. It dropped it. Oh, what the oh. hell? No. Watch out. Watch out, Tom. I want my tower to work. Ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look out. Oh, no. It's He's flying on the ground. I want him to die by this. There we oh, go. He's dragon. coming. He's coming. He's coming. Ah. Oh, my God. Where are you? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on! Oh, wait, I can respawn. Yes! Let's go! Yes. Yes. So, with the dragon defeated, it was time for us to get the first of many elytras in this video. Should we play speed? Uh, speed. <laughs> Should we play speed? <laughs> oh, I love speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a ship. Our first elytra. Let's go, elytra! Yes! Woo! Oh, and diamonds. So since I was the first person to get an elytra, I had the task of flying around to get the other two an elytra. But that meant one of the elytras was gonna be pretty used. Let's go. Third elytra. Yeah. Yes. Who wants gifts? Me, right. me. Pick left or right. One of you. Here's left. And here's right. What? <laughs> He's got 37 durability there. Oh, mine's completely unused. Should have picked right. <laughs> oh, gamers. And that was the first day of this mission done. So on day two, it was time to make a lot more progress because we needed lots of materials if we were going to make this plan actually happen. And one of the main things we needed were thousands and thousands of rockets. And of course, rockets are crafted using paper and gunpowder. So I assigned each member of our team a task. All right, so we need to get gunpowder, sugarcane, and also villager books. Gil, you can be in charge of sugarcane. 
Yep. Gamers, you can be in charge of Gunpowder Farm. Okay, well, I've never made one of these ones before, but I'll try my best. And whilst they were doing that, I was going to work on getting the villagers for the next step in our plan. Getting Unbreaking 3 blocks to make Elytra's last much longer. But that didn't go very well for me. I had some really frustrating problems with my internet, and on top of that, I kept on getting phone calls, which basically meant I made zero progress. However, Gamers and Gilf absolutely destroyed their tasks. We've made big progress. Look at all this sugar cane. Oh my god. And uh, there's a potato farm all the way down there. Wait, up here? Oh my god, there's so many potatoes. <laughs> there's hundreds. Gilf takes no breaks. But a few things did go wrong whilst we were testing out the gunpowder farm. Right, let's test if this actually works. Don't even know if I made it high, the AFK bit high enough yet. We only need to go about another 30, 40 blocks up. I'm so at 202 wait. now. So. Yeah. Good. Okay, Stop yeah, that'll you. be fine. Then. You, I still see a few spiders and stuff on the ground. Mm. It should. Surely you were high enough. Wait, if everyone's got rockets, just fly off a bit. Okay, now I'll land back on the platform. <laughs> 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 oh my god. We just lost so many levels. I know, all the levels from killing the dragon are gone. So we were really hoping the gunpowder farm was working overnight, as thousands of gunpowder would make us feel a little bit better. And when we woke up, we weren't disappointed. We had an insane amount of gunpowder and also lots of sugarcane for paper. Oh, juicy fireworks. Which was not only good because we could now get loads of rockets, but it also meant all three of us could work on getting the villagers. And that made a massive difference. Let's make a villager pit. Needs to be three deep and a bit bigger. Oh wait, it's gonna be a bottleneck getting all the books, I guess. I'll go and breed cows. I'm gonna start breeding up the villagers. Oh wait, we need more beds. If we don't have enough, I can make some. How many beds are we gonna need? Oh, they're doing We need loads thing. of beds. All awesome. the breeding. They're making babies. Good. Yes, we got our first one. And the reason we're doing all this villager stuff is to get an Unbreaking 3 trade. Because with Unbreaking 3, our elytras would last much longer. And without it, traveling 1 billion blocks wouldn't be possible. But after making good progress getting lots of villagers, one thing stood in our way. The trades were just too expensive. We couldn't afford it with the amount of potatoes we had. So reluctantly, we came up with the plan of curing the villagers to get cheaper trades. I think you guys keep uh, breeding up the villagers. I'm going to go get stuff like a brewing stand and stuff so we can actually cure them. All right, I got 15 blaze rods. That should be enough. All right, now, how do you craft fermented spider eyes? Sugar, brown mushrooms, and spider eye. Nice. Chuck them in there. And that's weakness patience. We also need to add gunpowder. And there's splash potion of weaknesses. Follow me. Just jump in with it. Yeah. Or like tap in. Yeah, nice. Little did we know this process of curing the villagers would be an absolute nightmare. What? Oh, did the zombie despawn? Why? Because we went too far away. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, he's attacking them. He's, he's very bad at it, so. Oh my <laughs> god, look how many zombies there are. Ah! <laughs> Help me! But he's not infecting a single one. The zombie's he's gone. What? All right, this time get like 40 zombies and just load the pen. Well, there's three zombies coming. Nice. Okay, that should be enough zombies. Yeah, that should be enough. There's an iron golem in, the, in there. No! You just it, killed all the zombies. Did it just spawn? Yeah, I think so. And things got even worse when we realized we hadn't even locked in our Unbreaking 3 trade. Oh, Let's this go. guy's respiration. Oh, no. No, we lost the Unbreaking 3 guy. Uh -huh. no. That was a main point. <laughs> The whole thing. Oh my god, we have to get another one. <laughs> oh, the grind for Unbreaking 3 happens again. Great. The fun begins. <laughs> Let's go, Unbreaking 3. Seven emeralds. That's pretty good. That's good, yeah. And we had to cure the villagers a lot more times than we prepared for. Whoa. Three, two, one. Cured. Three. Yay. Let's go. Yay. <laughs> All right, let's see what these trades are saying. Yeah, 14 potatoes now. Yeah, if we cure them one more time, their trades will literally be like one potato for an emerald. I was let's very go. scared. All right, what are the trades? Uh, two. Two potatoes for one emerald. Oh, nice. God, but to top it all off. Oh my God. What? We made a massive error. What? We forgot. 
trade with the Unbreaking 3 guy, so he's looting one now. What? Oh my god. That's not true. Yeah. Like no. But despite our many problems, by the end of day three, we had about a hundred unbreaking free books. And this was perfect because the next step in our plan was getting a hundred elytras that we'd need for gamers and guild to fly to opposite sides of the world. So on day four of the 1 billion block mission, it was time to get the 100 elytras we needed. So we set off on a journey to the end. And, uh, well, it didn't start very well. All right, right, let's go to the stronghold. There's got to be a hole from the surface, I think. You didn't dig down to the portal room, did you? You dug down to our... where we actually found it. Mm -hmm. I found it. Have you? You found it? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> your... Bless you. You're right above it, <laughs> lockdown. Oh, nice. Can you see my name play? Yep. <laughs> oh. oh my god. But as soon as we got into the end, we decided to make it a bit more interesting. By having a race, the first person to get 10 elytras would be the winner. Right, should we set off in different directions? Okay, first one to 10 elytras wins. Oh, first oh my god, 10. my first one already. <laughs> Come on. Is he oh, even got, got one? one already? Oh yes, he does have one. I think I found one. Let's go. No. My first well, elytra as well, yeah. Oh, I got, got uh, diamond boots as well, pretty much. Yes, I found another one. I want at least one by the time you guys have got 10. Yes, I found one. What? There's like three next to each other. The only one's a massive ship, but like three cities all next to each other. Yes. Find the second oh, one. If it's not already looted. Yes. I found one. No. Let's go. Elytra number four. Oh, yes. Number five. What the what? hell? <laughs> yes, number two. Oh, oh my god, I just found two right next to each other as well. Do they have ships? Yeah, both ships. Oh my god, that's so lucky. Come Me on. too! <laughs> I've just got number three right next to number two. Oh my god. I think I found number seven. No! <laughs> You're it's not like... part of this race. My score is... One, two, three, four, five. That's a shame, gamers, because I'm about to get number six. <laughs> oh yes, I found another ship. <laughs> what the hell? Let's go. Same. Elytra number nine. Only one more to go. Wait. No, no doubt. Is this the same one? Or did I just complete it? Wait, I got the tenth elytra. What the hell? No. Let's go. Stay lucky. <laughs> it's not fair. You both <gasps> on nine elytras. No. I found it. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, GG. let me recount them. Oh, 10, I've actually got 10. So I was first, Gilf is a very nice second, and Gamers is the worst. And a couple of hours after the race, we had all the elytras we needed to travel the 1 billion blocks. All right, we now have one, two, three, three and a half shulkers of elytras. I think it's 92 in total. But these were just default elytras, and if we left them unenchanted like this, they wouldn't be able to get us to the opposite world borders, and my entire plan wouldn't work. So I had to spend ages adding all the Unbreaking 3 books to the elytras. Wait, why has this trade gone up really high? Unbreaking 3 has gone up to 43 emeralds. What? Uh -huh. Oh my god. We do have a bunch of Unbreaking 3, but we need more. Alright, the first of the elytras are... About to get unbreaking three. Let's go. Oh, the first arm will break. I've got one more shulker to put unbreaking three on, but all the trades have gone really expensive. And whilst I was doing this, Gilf and gamers were working on the next step of the plan, building a machine that would slow down time. This would enable a rocket to power an elytra for much more blocks and also enable elytras to last for much longer than usual. This is an essential part of the plan, but this wasn't going to be easy as the machine worked by causing a crazy amount of lag. Yeah, any two more chests of boots to craft? Are yeah, you sure well, that's enough boats? How many double chests? Eight. Wait, aren't we going to have to move all of the boats back to spawn? <laughs> We've got like 14 chests of them. Oh my god. How did we not think of that? <laughs> <laughs> We're so stupid. All right, yeah, this will be the spot where we build it. Right at spawn. Look at me, I'm building this machine while Vegetarian. they're just fighting. Oh yeah, the start of the lag machine. No. What? No, no. Bad gamer. That's not even right. Yes, it is. Look at it. What do you mean? Looks... It goes into that chest, and then that chest goes into that hopper. Look at that. Look how stupid that looks. <laughs> 
Oh wait, well that's and this no this. <laughs> oh gamers. Alright, nice. Gilf, let's load the machine with boots. Okay, everyone ready to flick the levers? Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. Whoa. Oh my god, look at that boot. Oh, that is so weird. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Run into it. Just get yeeted away. Whoa. <laughs> what if I oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you got hit so far. <laughs> oh, wait. If you use rockets, it lags. Yeah, the rockets are definitely what? lasting longer. Oh, my God. My rocket's still going. Uh, let's see how high we go. So, starting at 75, we go to... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Despite the server crashing from thousands of boats, we knew we just had to find the right amount of boats to lag the server, but not lag it so much that the server would crash. All right, Operation Break the Boats and... And save the oh. server. <laughs> that should join every now and then. I'm just gonna. Oh no, the boats flick you away. I forgot about that. We've killed the <laughs> no, server. I can't land. The rocket's too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I literally I've... can't land. Okay, we're just breaking the boats. How many entities are there? No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We'll burn the excess boots. So with the machine working, there was only a few things left that we needed. And this next item might be the most important, because if we died on our flight to the world border, this entire video would be over, as there would be no way of recovering all of our lost items. So totems were a must. It's time for a wait. raid. Oh wait, I don't have a chest plate. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> hey, you can't just start a raid and leave us to do it. <laughs> During the raid, I nearly died multiple times, but each time my friends were there to save me. Oh my god, there's one on a Ravager! Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Help! Help! I'm coming help. Along. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! Half a heart. Oh, I, no, just, no, no. I just flew away. I need to heal. No, 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 no! I'm being chased! Got him. Half a heart. Oh my god. Oh my Get god, him. there's so many witches! We I'm in the bunker! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Help. Take the totem. Take the totem. I'm running to you. But sadly, the same couldn't be said for Gilf. Oh no, not an axe guy. <laughs> Anything but an axe guy. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, <laughs> I'm on one heart. I got <laughs> you. Running towards me I got you. That. I got you. The vex is going to get you. No. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Where is the last part of the raid? <laughs> How many totems have we got then? I've got I've got three. one. Yeah, I've got another one. Boo. <laughs> On the morning of day five, we were all quite nervous and excited because we only had a little bit of prep to do until we began our one billion block journey. First up, we were going to be using ender chests so we could store lots of items. But to pick them up, you need a silk touch pickaxe. This wasn't a problem for me and Gilf, but gamers didn't have one. So Gilf and I went to find one in the end for gamers whilst he was trying to get us some more totems. Okay, the raid's coming. Oh my God, there's so many guys. Get the ravager gone. All right, come on, Silk Touch. Oh, there's an end city. I found one as well. I think we've gone to the same one. I can see. Oh my god. Game is like completely under attack, and then me and lockdown just casually just flying around in the end. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm on half heart. Right, come on, Silk Touch, please. Oh yeah, another Elytra. Oh my god, what the hell? There's an army of zombies as well. Oh, this is a big end city. Surely it's got to have a Silk Touch pickaxe. <laughs> There's literally like 20 zombies. Oh, what the? One. No. Okay, there's there's an end city that is literally just one building. Oh, oh. did you? Gamers. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think this raid might have defeated me. How many totems do you have? I have three. Fortune three, no. Yes. Silk touch. Then it was time for me to teach our team how to build the machine that would actually teleport me back and forth. All right, now I'm going to teach you guys how to make an end pill stasis chamber. So everyone look in the discord and I'll stream it. I'm going to go on a separate way. Yeah. So eight blocks down, you want to replace this block with soul sand and then place water. Then place kelp all the way up. Now you've got a bubble column. Then on the top, mm -hmm. you want to place a trap door like this. So it just does that. And then what I'll do is I'll come and I'll throw an ender pill straight down it like that. They'd be building 10 of these on each side of the world. Then I'd have to travel to both sides, throw my pills in all of them, and then they'd activate the machines to teleport me back and forth until I travel 1 billion blocks. Seems pretty easy. Yeah. 
It's pretty simple. If a single one of these chambers was built wrong, the entire plan would fail. So they'd have to build these perfectly. And speaking of stasis chambers, I'd also need to build one at spawn. This will be very important later. Anyways, it was now time to put all of our gunpowder and sugarcane to good use and convert it into thousands of rockets. We then sorted the rest of our inventories out with obsidian to make nether portals, wood just in case things went wrong, and of course plenty of ender pills. Then it was time for our final briefing of the plan. All right guys, so step one is me, Gilf, and gamers fly up with all of our rockets. Okay, all okay. the way up. And once we're out of rockets, that was very confusing, but let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> if everything went to plan, we were about to become the first people to travel 1 billion blocks in survival Minecraft. So it's safe to say the pressure was on. We've got this. The mission to travel 1 billion blocks is a go. This is like some kind of space program. <laughs> Are we going to another planet? Turn okay. on the lag machine in T minus 5 seconds. 5, 4, Four three, 3, 2, two, two one. 1. Go! Lag! <laughs> Lag! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Onto yeah. the nether reef we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Nice. Let's oh, go. Nice. Yes. Nice. But right as we thought everything was going well, disaster struck. Ooh. And now we will begin our ascent. Go! Go! <laughs> the lag machine's not working. Every rocket's not going very far. This meant each rocket was way less powerful than we'd calculated. So we had to abort. But after some intense thinking, I came up with the solution of using a chunk loader to keep the machine running. All right, so we've got a chunk loader and... There we go, it's working. Now we turn on the lag machine again. Okay. All right, let's do this, boys. Attempt okay. number two. Uh, let's hope this works, actually. And this time, it was actually working. It is. It's working, it's working. Yes. Ooh. One rocket should do like 250 blocks. I'm still on one rocket. Oh, yes. Nice. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So wow. And here we go. 10,000 blocks in the air. I can see you behind me, gamers. I can just see you laser of little... Parkings coming out of your bum. Come on. I'm going to be first to 20,000. No, you're not. You. We can nearly just glide. Yeah. At what like, point are we gliding? Uh, when we run out of rockets. So after over two hours of flying straight up in the air, we were just about to run out of rockets. I am down to my last three rockets, and I am 240, 244,000 blocks in the air. So it's about turning time. Yeah, I've literally got one rocket left. Uh, Me too. So I'm going to start gliding when this is done. I am Operation Glide. I've got to line Me. it up with 25 degree angle going down and minus 90. This is hard. And I'm lined up. So it was time for us to head in our separate directions. Gamers was heading to the world border at negative X, and me and Gilf were heading to the positive X border. We were also traveling at a 25 degree angle down, so all we had to do was change out our elytras. And after about 12 hours, we reached halfway to the world border, and we had ran out of height. Oh my god. Nearly, we're nearly at 2 million blocks. All right, I'm about to land, I'm about to land. Go on. Wait, I'm angling it up and down to try and not hit the floor. I think I hit the floor. Wait. Yes. I didn't pop my totem though. I'm on the floor. Nice. Let's oh, go. Nice. So on the morning of day six, we flew up again and continued gliding to the world borders. All right. You guys got everything ready for the second half of the journey? I sure have. All right. Yep. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna okay. start flying up in three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah, I can't wait to fly for another 10 years. Okay, almost at 5,000, only 245,000 more blocks. Okay, we've been flying sideways for over an hour now, and we're now over 2 million blocks away from spawn. We have about 10 hours more flying until we reach the world border. Nice. But because we had used the rockets differently, Gilf and I were now thousands of blocks away from each other, meaning we'd have to build two separate portals and hope we came out in the same place. Okay, we need to find Z equals zero. Okay, now what we want to do is open up your ender chest, get some obsidian out, and make yourself a portal. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> 8 million blocks away. Okay, now if this has worked, 
me and Gilf should be in the exact same place when we go through this portal. Okay, go through in three, two, one, go. Let's go. Ooh. I'm Ooh. going through as well. It's going to take a while to go through. Come on. Please. Please. Okay. It's because yes. everybody's trying to go home. Yes, okay. oh. we're in the same place. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm nice. all on my own. You're literally 60 million blocks away from us now. Now we have to set up the stasis chambers. I'd help Gilf build the 10 on his side and gamers would carefully build the ones on his side. We even tested the stasis chambers to make sure that all worked. We couldn't risk anything going wrong. And when we were happy, it was time for me to start traveling towards gamers side of the world border. All right, that's it fully set up from this side. Now it's time to embark on another 24 hour flight to the other world border. Yes, give me the elytras. Wow, well, here's them. a bunch of broken ones. You can have those <laughs> first. <laughs> Look at all them. But of course, I'm not gonna fly all the way to gamers. I had a trick that meant I would only have to fly half the way, but it would require a fourth member of the team. Introducing Chazza, master of digging 100 by 100 holes and professional trapdoor clicker. Okay, yeah, so basically whenever you're ready, just Click the trap door and I should be teleported. You ready? Yep. You actually ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. go. All right, now I need to travel 30 million blocks that way. <laughs> oh, nice. But even though we had just teleported 30 million blocks, we had a long way to go. And to make matters worse, we didn't have enough elytras. So we're definitely going to have to repair some of these. The best way to do this is going to be by getting mending on these. But for this, we need our village and it's currently got a raid on it. Great. Come on. Why couldn't the gamers just finish this raid? Okay, so first up, let's craft a bunch of books. Now, there should be a bunch of emeralds, which we can use to buy mending books why is this guy depth strider 2 come on oh my god how did they reset come on please give me mending how have all three librarians given me multi-shot literally like the most useless enchantment oh my god finally i am locking that in straight away now the plan is to buy a bunch of these mending books and of course apply them to all these broken elytras wait it's only two xp per one to repair them, we are going to trade a bunch of potatoes. Okay, and that is all the elytras repaired. And now that we've got everything prepared, it's time to travel to gamers. Okay, so we'll turn back on the lag machine. Here we go, the final flight of this video. Oh, oh, oh my god. That was kind of close. <laughs> now, once again, let's fly hundreds of thousands of blocks up in the air. Once I was 300,000 blocks in the air, I angled myself, so I was heading straight to gamers. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, then please click the subscribe button because I've got some really cool videos planned. Anyways, after another 20 hours of flying, it was finally day seven. And I was ready to see gamers again. Come on. Oh. Yes, <laughs> let's go. Oh my god, it's been, been so long since I've seen another person. <laughs> so now it was nearly time for the final stage of the plan, doing the actual teleporting of 1 billion blocks. Even as we did our final bits of preparation, I still couldn't believe how far we were going. 1 billion blocks. Nobody has ever done that before, and I couldn't have gotten this far without my friends. But now it was time to find out if all of our hard work had been for nothing. So without further ado, let's travel. 1 billion blocks. Are we all ready? I'm, yeah. uh, I'm as ready as I will be. Let's do this. So, uh, I'm at minus 30 million blocks. Okay, Gilf, whenever you're ready, go. Okay, here we go. A lot of responsibility. Here goes the first one. There's Ooh. 60 million blocks travelled. Okay, gamers, go. Hello. Oh, There's my God. There's 120 million blocks travelled. Okay, Gilf, go. 180 <laughs> million. Okay, gamers, go. <laughs> Gilf, go. That's Whoa. 300 million blocks. Gamers, go. <laughs> this is insane. Go. Gamers, go. 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 Nice. Go. 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 Let's go. Go, my last one. Gamers. Bam. There we yes, go. Me. We have traveled one billion blocks. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my God. That was insane. If you want to see the full movie version of this video, you can check it out here on my second channel. And also, don't forget to check out my friends' channels because without them, traveling one billion blocks wouldn't be possible.